Well, if you're always on the lookout for new ways to beef up the dinner table, and who isn't? Love beef. Yes. We have some ideas for you. Yes, we do. Here are some recipes using a variety of cuts of beef that are going to keep you warm all season. We want to welcome Ashley Kramer from the Minnesota Beef Council. And hey, she Ashley. brought all hey. the slow cookers and the instant pot, even yes. Ashley. A lot of appliances. Oh, Thank you. This yes. is good. Okay, these are easy recipes. What yep. are we starting with? So we're going to start with the whiskey molasses shredded beef recipe. Yum. Yep, we're going to start with whiskey. Great. Um, you <laughs> can use any kind of whiskey that you want. We did a cowboy whiskey, but you can do bourbon, um, crown, anything like that. Whatever floats your boat. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, then what's the beef? So for the beef here, we have a round roast. Um, you can really use any kind of roast. Um, like I made it with my family, and we did um, a different kind of roast, but it really works with um, any kind of roast cut. So Great. what's the beef? That's the beef. <laughs> right. Oh, I like it. Very good. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to put the um, the beef into the crock pot. Okay. Okay, but you're going to cut it up into one-inch slices first. Great. And then in a separate bowl, you're going to combine the different ingredients. So you've got whiskey, apple cider vinegar, and it's molasses in there too, which is, mm -hmm. makes it really sweet and tangy. Yeah. Um, and then you also have some ground red pepper and salt. And you're just going to put that all in there. Um, and you're going to cook it on low for about four to six hours, um, or high four to six hours, or low eight to ten hours. Okay, that's like easy. So this is like half of a day. Yeah. But you just set it and you go. Right. And you do whatever you want. And then you're done. Right. That's what's super great about it. So you can put it in the crock pot in the morning and then you get home at night and it's done. And then is it nice and shreddy when it comes out? Oh yeah, I see it over here. Yep. So then what you're going to do is once it's done, you take it out, shred it up with two forks, put it back in, kind of mix it with that sauce in there. Get can we it really look at tender. it? Yeah, absolutely. In here? Okay. Take a peek. Yeah, let's look. Oh, see, TJ. The aroma. <laughs> Yeah, it's got that really good whiskey smell there. Oh, that That's, smells it's good. It's pungent. I'm, I'm in. I'm so in yeah, too. if you guys want to try it, go ahead. Yeah, we can. Kind of... Okay, we'll grab the plate, and then you want to tell us. Um, this is the thing we have to share a lot of snacks. That's here, great. TJ, hey, that's so fine. And okay we're going to do we're going to do small bites. The small bites. Right? And then this is also a, um, a homemade coleslaw. So it's got shredded carrots, um, diced apples, and then you add some apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, mm. and salt and pepper in there, um, and it really gives it a really sweet, savory taste. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can also just do an original. Prepackaged cool cell mix. Oh my gosh, that's, that's great. Yeah. I love it. I really like the apple with the carrot. Like, I feel like it's just like tangy and fresh with the beef that's like so rich and delicious. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's would you, really good. Would you put this in a bun? Mm. I, you could put it on a bun. Um, I would think of a loaded baked potato was kind of what I was thinking of would oh. be really good. Um, or you could do it in a taco, a quesadilla, anything really yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. That's a good recipe, mm -hmm. Ashley. Okay, I'm liking where you're going. Good. Let's go to the center here to crock pot number two. All right, so crock pot number two, we have a, um, a ginger mango barbecue short rib recipe. Ooh. So what I love about this one is it's only five ingredients. Um, so basically every ingredient is in the name. You've got ginger, Barbecue, mango, short ribs. Oh, you said all of them. I know, them. I said all of them. That makes it easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the onion. We are going to put onion in there as well. Okay. So I'm actually going to have you mix it up. We'll do it. What okay. do you want us to do? So first you're going to put the short ribs in there. Okay, so let's yep. take those. Do you want you me to just that? pour them in? Yep, just put them right in. Okay, that feels there you good. Go. Yep. Okay, and then it doesn't matter what order you put them in. You can just add the ingredients. So we have a let's cup and a half these. of mango. I yep. think sometimes people think short ribs are like you only get at a fancy restaurant. Right, yeah, but, but you pretty... can make them so easy at home too. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Some of this. Okay, one medium onion chopped up. My kids are so mango obsessed. I feel like <laughs> they would like this. Okay, ginger. Yep. Get one tablespoon of ginger. Ooh, that's a good, that's like so good for you yeah. too. Mm -hmm. You can do um, like the seasoned pre in the package ginger or I actually um, ground up fresh ginger. Oh yeah, that's good. And then we have hickory smoked barbecue sauce. Um, you could use any kind of barbecue sauce though. So then does this just go like the lid goes on? Yeah, you just mix it up and then you don't have to stir it at all throughout the cooking time. Which is great if you're, you know, leaving home in the morning, coming back in the afternoon, and then it's done at night. How, do, how long does this one take? This one takes about five hours on high, or it does eight to ten hours on low too. Okay, and then it comes yep. out and it looks like this. It like, does, oh yeah. my Hello. gosh! Okay, I'm gonna get my. Oh, so, yeah. your fork. I'll just grab my fork. <laughs> okay. Okay, then you just look at how like that just comes apart. Yeah, it just mango. falls apart right there, which is really great because ribs tend to be more of a tough kind of cut, mm -hmm. but the mango actually has an acid in it, and acid is what helps to break down those connective tissues in beef, so it makes it really. Tender and great. The science. Yeah. yeah. I've never science had anything science. like this. It's really good. That's really mm -hmm. delicious. I could see that like with some rice. Right, absolutely. You and could put it with maybe with just like green things. onions or something on top. Yeah, or like even a side of um, greens, like asparagus or green beans, something like that too. Listen, Ashley, you're doing a really great job. <laughs> you guys are We're pros. So happy that you're here. What's okay. next? One more. All right, so our last recipe here is we actually made this one in an Instant Pot pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. But any of these recipes you could use um, in an Instant Pot. This one you could also do in a slow cooker. Okay. So you can do either or. The great thing about this one is if you're short on time or you're in a pinch, you can actually make it in about 25 minutes. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And you guys just got one of these. We huh? just got one of these. Oh, hey, Melissa there you go. Melissa loves it. We use it all the time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there you go. So this one, um, 
we are going to do um, kind of these beef sandwiches. And yeah. it's got onions, um, it's got peppers in it. And so what you're going to do um, is you're going to, yeah, if you just want to take it off, you can look there. at it. Yeah. yeah, there you wow. go. Wow, yum. Yeah, and it's actually so that juice in there is the odd juice that you can use for dipping. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so you, what kind of beef did you use in this? So this one used stew meat. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's just a combination there we put in. Um, and then you add in your red peppers, the onion, um, some garlic, beef broth, soy, and then a tomato paste too. And then if you do it in the instant pot, you put like the pressure thing going and then it yep. just takes a so little bit. Put it on high pressure. 25 minutes is all it takes. Whoa. You yeah. hear the little whistle at the end, it's beautiful. Right, and then you it actually the gives off. you the same amount of tender beef as you would with the slow cooker. Now, sandwich eating on television is a real art, my friend. Uh, do you <laughs> like do this? Are we of, really doing this? You just this? do it. I don't you judge. have to be okay, but your mom just bought you that shirt, and so I don't want you to spill on it. Because Thanks, she's going to be upset. <laughs> I'm 37, and I, <laughs> I still haven't learned how to dress because myself. Because your mom, like, cares, okay? So we just, what do you want us to do here, Ashley? You can dip it in the audges if you want. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be a big mess. you got to figure it out. I've got to Elizabeth, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, yummy. Yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Good. I love the peppers. Mm -hmm. A lot of mine fell out the bun. <laughs> But yes. I got it, trust me, I got it. And it's really good. See, so yeah, what you can actually do too is if you want a crispier bun, you can actually set Yum. the oven to broil, put the, the bread in there with mm -hmm. some cheese on top, and then you broil it so it gets you a nice crisp and melts the cheese there too. You know what I really like about these? All of these are super like flavor forward. It's right. like yep. you're not tasting it and going like, oh, okay, that's just whatever. It's got like a lot of punch of flavor, which I feel like is really nice mm -hmm. for just brightening up a cold day. You did Absolutely. a great job. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Perfect for winter. Crushed it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so all of today's recipes are on our website go to TwinCitiesLive.com. And we also have a link to the Minnesota Beef Council website. You can find tons more recipes there, meal plans, and then information about the over 16,000 beef farmers and ranchers in our great state. How about that? How are you doing with your bite? I took too, much, too big of a bite. <laughs> <laughs> These are beautiful lessons. And guess what? You'll probably never learn that lesson because it's all very good stuff. I've never had not had to take a big bite before. <laughs> you can but... take whatever size bite you want. <laughs>